Okay, hello guys. I am back again with another video and this is going to be the first part of my um, Clean My Life house decluttering series. So I'm going to clean up my apartment and go the minimalist route somehow. So I'll start it off with a 360 degree of view of the whole place because it's just a studio. So this is the bedroom section and I've just stripped off the sheets for my bed because I need to change them. I'm going to clean this first. And off to here is my living room. My TV is there. My iron is still there. And uh, I have a two-seater sofa. Those are my big windows. And this side here is my study corner or right there. I check my mails there. My laptop is there. And my phone is there. And this here is the kitchen. It's quite spacious but it's really cluttered right now. And here is the entryway, and to your left is the bathroom. I have more wardrobes there, and this is a secret door to the attic. No, I'm kidding. This is my storage room, and part of the ironing board is there. And I have my cat's um, treehouse there. So this is uh, my room. First, I'm going to clean up. So um, I don't know how long I'm going to finish doing this because I still have to declutter my clothes, my shoes, my bags, my accessories, all those stuff. So maybe I'll start off with the uh, bedroom section. Um, I'm not going to go into my drawers now. Um, I'll do a separate video of that. So just stick around and watch um, how I clean the bedroom side of my apartment. I normally turn over my mattress every few months so I can use both sides and here you can just see me cleaning from top to bottom I think it's um, basic in cleaning to do it from top to bottom and I'm just wiping away the dust here with my detail and I'm not going into my drawers, I'll do that separately. And as um, just a tip, so you can group everything together from what's on top of your vanity. You can uh, put it in an extra or empty box first. And then, so you, you can organize it and then you can place it back together later on after wiping everything up and also as a tip on your vanity you can put different containers so you can group everything together and it could look more organized uh, for me i really don't want to put anything on top of my vanity but i can't avoid it i have to put in few important um, pieces on top so I use these boxes to keep them all together and keep it organized like my perfume my favorite ones and what I normally use daily um, like my toner which is this one and my sunscreen that one and my moisturizer and my eye cream so those are the important things i keep on top and i also have small dishes for when i remove my jewelry or any accessories i've used for that day i can just put them there for a while until I clear it out again and these are my makeup brushes which I really don't use much in my hair product um, when I clear out my drawer I'm gonna hide them so there are fewer things on top of my vanity
Now, moving on to my side table, bedside table, I keep a diary or a notebook where I can write things. And I have this diary given by Irwin, which when I find a favorite quote, I would write things on it. And of course, my winner boys. So I just love looking at them from time to time. And I have an extra box for my pills, my hormone pills, moisturizer, my lip balm, and my reading glasses, and of course, a pen. So that's what's on my bedside table. So now I'm putting on the sheets, but you don't have to look at my butt, so I've let's sk skip that part. And so this is how I arrange my pillows. I have three because I like to have a lot of pillows. And right now, since it's not that cold here yet, I'm just using a um, thin blanket. But I still put it in a duvet cover. So that's how I cleaned up the bedroom section of my apartment and I haven't vacuumed yet because it's uh, around 7 in the evening already. I will finish doing the living room and the study area tomorrow so I'll vacuum in one go and yeah that's it. This is my sleeping place where all the magic happens as they all say. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.